This time we will study causal chain diagrams. A causal chain diagram, or CCD, can be converted into interdisciplinary mapping, IDM, and influenza correlation mapping, ICM. These diagrams help you to visualize your research plan, especially to identify your hypothesis. Let's begin. First, the causal chain analysis is a tool to visualize the complicated structure of an issue. Firstly, decide your research issue, the phenomenon you are targeting in the research. Here, let's assume our research target is drug abuse among youth. To put this issue at the center of your canvas, you need to set a persona, which is someone who is most affected by the issue. You can set this from your imagination, for example, a 15-year-old female student who lives in an urban area. Then, brainstorm all the factors you can conceive in your mind. For instance, the gang community who may introduce drugs to her. Also, she may have conflicts with her family, so they cannot know about her drug abuse and stop it. She may also have heavy mental stress and wants to escape from reality by drugs. Next, you can identify a chain of these factors. For instance, why is the student having a conflict with her family? Let's say because she does not work on her school studies properly as an example answer. How about the factor of the gang community? If the gang community approaches her to sell drugs, she may already smoke cigarettes or have a habit of drinking alcohol. She may have a bad relationship with friends in school or her community. Imagine her suffering from bullying in school and being isolated after a traumatic incident. Then her isolation creates a chance for drug dealers to provide drugs to her or the gang community just facilitates it. Like this, you can brainstorm multiple factors based on your knowledge, experience, and imagination. So now you may have realized that producing hypotheses is not easy work if you do not know about social issues. But don't worry, we will learn this understanding phase little by little. In this early stage, just brainstorming and mapping factors randomly from your mind is okay. Here's one tip I want to share. The factors in the diagram don't necessarily need to be negative ones. For instance, poverty is a negative word, but employability or the tourism industry or agriculture may help her family's poverty. Then you can put it in. If you make these positive chains instead of causal chains, it becomes a value chain diagram. This diagram also helps you to detect your research plan. Okay, we have brainstormed the causal chain. Next, we will introduce the scaling analysis to it. The scale consists of three phases, micro, meso, and macro. These three phases can flexibly shrink and extend depending on the knowledge and perspectives of the researcher's mind. For instance, in the case of drug abuse, strong stress and mental illness is quite a personal problem, so we can put this factor in micro, the closest position to the persona. Next, conflict in family or isolation is between individual and the society. Then, let's put these factors in meso, as macro is a wider societal zone. Then, you may conceive new ideas from this mapping. For example, in the macro perspective, there should be a legal or institutional anti-drug abuse system. Does such a system exist? Or is it that she doesn't know any public consultation counters? How about a social worker or school counselor? Now you may have more factors you can add to this map by considering the three phases of distance from the persona. Now we will work on interdisciplinary mapping. The step is simple. Let's try to convert the factors you mapped in the diagram into each particular academic discipline. This task challenges your knowledge on diverse disciplines. In this case, for instance, poverty probably can be handled by economics, 
while drug abuse itself is one of the research domains in criminology. Personal stress can be found in psychology. With this process, you can depict an issue-centered, interdisciplinary approach. Lastly, we will learn influenza correlation mapping. In this mapping, each of the factors are to be converted to agents or actors. For instance, bullying is related to classmates and also teachers may intervene. Direct influencers in her family are probably her father and mother. Poverty is a difficult category to identify its influencer because it is a very big issue itself. But an employer can be related if she herself or her family is employed. Or producers and customers if she has a family business. In the macro picture, there should be a policy maker. In most cases, they are hard to reach, but actually are one of the important influencers. The police may be a direct administrative authority to her. And how about hospitals or social workers? Like this, based on the factors in the CCD, you can convert them into agents. Now we have made causal chain diagram, interdisciplinary mapping, and influencer correlation mapping. Again, please note these diagrams can be unique by each researcher. It heavily depends on academic knowledge and perspectives. These are just tools to visualize a complicated issue and clarify which factor you are approaching. Most of the case, you cannot research all the factors in a limited time period, but it helps you to spot a light on a particular target you would like to research. For instance, you may be more interested in policy making rather than field working, while others may be more interested in psychological issues or cultural value systems in anthropology. Let's find your best hypothesis with these diagrams.